Yeah, I mean, that was a, it was a surreal feeling. I was pretty speechless, but I mean, yeah, it was just a great honor. Anytime that your teammates think that highly of you, uh, it's pretty special. So uh, it's something I'll cherish definitely for the rest of my life, but we got a lot more work to do, so it's exciting. I mean, it says we're doing a good job building the defensive culture. Uh, I think even there's a lot more guys that could have been named captain that weren't, obviously, because there's only four. But guys like, you know, Ty Robinson, Luke Reimer, Miles Farmer, they all are really good leaders as well. So I think we're doing a good job uh, building a nice defensive culture. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, Luke and I especially, we were really lucky to, when we came in, there were some really nice, really good senior linebackers that kind of showed us how to just be a college football player and how to do the right things on and off the field. So, I mean, when Will Will left especially, that was kind of like the last like old guy in the room leaving. It was kind of like the torch was passing. So, I mean, those guys all taught us so much, and I'm super grateful for all of them, but... Yeah. What's a captain's role in setting the tone for a first game like this when the stakes are so high? Yeah, I mean, I think you just got to kind of keep doing what you're doing. Your teammates voted you as a captain for a reason, so you just got to keep being yourself. And, you know, obviously, I don't know, nothing really changes. You just got to, the stakes are high. We got to keep working. We all know that. So we just got to keep holding everyone accountable like we've been doing. Do you get the sense among the guys that they know that the trip is more than you know just going to a foreign country, but at the end of the day, it's about football? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, we've really emphasized that this is a this is a business trip, and obviously, it's a huge honor to experience another culture like we're going to and go to a different country because a lot of guys have never been able to do that. But we all know uh, the only thing we're going there to do is win a football game. How much will Northwestern kind of test the physicality? I mean, Porter is 235 pound back, and they got um, holes as well. I mean, what, what do you expect to see from those backs in this game? Yeah, I mean, they have good backs. Uh, they're always a well coached team. So we're expecting, you know, downhill run game. We're expecting a lot of things out of them, but we're going to be ready to go. And we know they're going to bring their best, so we have to bring our best. Yeah, I mean, I think we're just all ready to go as a team, you know what I mean? Last year was last year. It was a really hard year for a lot of people, but we definitely taken and learned a lot of lessons from it, and we're going to take those over to Ireland with us. Coach Frost was also complimentary of Caleb Tanner and how far he's come from when he arrived till now. How much growth have you seen from him on the field and personally? Yeah, I mean, Caleb is – hes I don't think I've seen more growth out of a single person. He's just – He's done such a good job this year of uh, holding guys accountable and bringing energy and just really being a great leader. So, I mean, we'd love to see that out of Caleb. And, yeah, he's he's team captain for a reason. He deserves it. In what ways specifically have you seen that growth? At least yeah. Sure. yeah, I mean, he came in and he just – he was never like a huge problem guy, but it seemed like – I don't know, he just wasn't really a leader, you know what I mean? But he's really, really developed well into that and just, I mean, really – he took off from a leadership standpoint, really, this last year. So, yeah, it's been really cool to see. What's he brings a player? He's a dog, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's he's got that insane uh, competitive drive and spirit that is contagious to a defense and a team. So, we really can feed off of his energy. Nick, what have you seen from the new look offense after spring camp and now after a full fall game? Yeah, I mean, those guys have been doing a really good job. Uh, it's nice to be able to experience some new looks. They show us a lot of, a lot of stuff. Uh, running backs have been running really hard, and I've been uh, really impressed from that side of the ball, for sure. Nick, what do you expect out of yourself as your goals for you? Yeah, I mean, my goals are just really to help us win games however we can. And being a leader was probably my biggest goal I wanted to do this offseason was really kind of develop uh, myself as a leader. So I want to continue to do that throughout the season. How did you do it? 
I mean, Unity Council helped a lot, just kind of working with the guys and, I mean, trusting myself, honestly. Thank you.